So there's three general phases of seizures. There's the pre-ictal, which means it happens before the seizure or ictal phase. The actual ictal phase, which is the active seizure itself, and then the post-ictal phase. The pre-ictal phase is very uncommonly recognized in, in veterinary medicine, unless you have a very astute owner who recognizes uh, patterns before a seizure happens. Um, but it, it can be seen by a very astute owner. The ictal phase is what we see most commonly. That's uh, we'll have those clinical manifestations of a seizure. Uh, the most common grand mal seizure would be this tonic-clonic movement of the limbs back and forth. Um, they're on their side. They're unaware of their surroundings. Sometimes they urinate and defecate. Uh, those types of things. But there's an extreme variation in what can happen in that ictal phase. What I described was the grand mal, but they can have petite mal or focal facial seizures or absent seizures where they're just completely unaware of their surroundings, maybe just staring off into space and then re return back afterwards. And then the final stage is the post-ictal phase, so after the seizure event. And this is very commonly recognized by most owners. We're going to see a change in behavior. Um, if we're in the veterinary office and we can do a cranial nerve exam, we may see changes in cranial nerves, including something like blindness. Um, they may be aggressive or sleepy or acting anxious. There's a whole uh, a a wide spectrum of, of clinical behaviors that can happen in that post-ictal stage. And that's a very important thing to recognize as a veterinarian because it's part of our history collection to help identify the difference between a seizure versus a syncable episode or other neurologic problems that might be happening.